Yep. Hi all. Hello YouTube fans. So we go, Volkswagen Beetle Day. So there's my car there running the replica Fuchsias and my friend's oval running the genuine Fuchsias, which um yeah need need a fair bit of work including a flat tire, but yeah. So it says on the back 55, 1955, but it has got uh these on here. I'm gonna say the um the earlier doors and stuff, the earlier car. So I can't remember if it's 53 or 54, yeah, but um Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's in a sort of fairly early oval. Um, semaphores, obviously. It's got, uh, like I mentioned, right-hand drive on there. It's had, it's had, you know, lots and lots of work done here and there and stuff. Um, I don't know. So, I don't know, I don't know if it's original seats or not, but definitely, potentially. It's had a few mice in here as well. And a few mice living down there, so yeah, mice stuff all over it lots of nuts and stuff everywhere but anyway it's an oval you know early parts here so yes looking around at the car and you've obviously got the earlier fuel tank as well so again i can't remember what year it is but 53 or 54 i would say for this car um quick observations so for me definitely replacing the headlights with some genuine headlights used ones ideally if it was my car I'd get rid of the water bottle system get rid of all that junk there and that way I can then need to snap the wire in. It just looks better. Um, get another wheel. I would say a replica like, like mine. Put a replica in the front so you've got a spare wheel. That'd be the cheapest option. So I'll su um, suggest that to her. And for me, I'm going to do lots of work on the front suspension. So all the discs, all that stuff there is all so grubby and so rusty. It's, just, it's awful. It's not like rot. I don't think it's rot. It just looks like a ton of surface rust over like everything down there. So I'm gonna t I think if it's me, I'm going to take the wheels off. Um, and basically just degrease everything, rub it all down by hand, hand paint it. That's, we're, not, we're, not, we're not doing the full restoration here, we're just doing stuff just to keep the car on the road. You know, the car is normally garaged as well, so just do bits and pieces on it over a day. That's kind of what the gist is. Uh, but you can see by the state in there, if you can see that, that's the sort of level we're talking about. But once it's been cleaned and painted and all that sort of stuff, and obviously you re replace anything that needs replacing, obviously, um, should be good. Um, potentially a new, a new uh, tyre on the back as well for that one. Um, it's obviously got the wrong deck lid on there. So I'll see if she has the right deck lid. It's missing the spring. It's really light actually, this deck lid. I don't know. It could be the fact that the spring's missing, but it just feels exceptionally light, you know. Looks made out of that fiberglass, but no, it looks like it's metal. And obviously you've got our twin carburetor engine in there with the alternator, you know. That's that. So yeah, there we go. So, that, so yeah, when the lady's um, out in a bit, I'll talk to her about it, see what she wants to do. I know that things like this is super stiff for the door lock. I mean, that's like, see, obviously it probably should flick back, you know, like that, but it's not, it's super stiff. So it needs a bit of work there. And, but yeah, obviously that, that will close, but it clinks really nicely. You can sort of tell it's a, tell it's a beetle and all that it's lovely 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 cool yes yeah, a bit of work and, and that should look pretty sweet and so just main thing is just keeping it on the road you know just doing bits and bobs you know each year and stuff and um yeah nice end of the day it's an oval right hand drive oval sweet cool chisel